Tonys and Oscars and Emmys and Grammys. There's no red carpet because they're home in their jammies. From Melrose Place to Broadway to Janeway and her crew. Let Seth and James bring all the stars to you. Anywho. They're entertaining everyone, so who's gonna grouse? Just sit right back and you'll hear some tales on Stars in the Hello! Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Stars in the House. Uh, my name is Jose Lana, and I am your guest host for this evening. And um, I am I'm very, very, very excited. I'm actually very nervous just because I am so excited that I have a bunch of my friends waiting in the backstage area and that I haven't spoken to in a couple of weeks. And I am so, so, so excited to have them out here. Uh, but first and foremost, we have to explain for maybe some people who haven't tuned in before, um, where have you been? Uh, Stars in the house. I am very excited to give Seth and James a very, very much deserved night off. Uh, they started Stars in the House at the very, very beginning of the pandemic, and uh, it has been a nightly fundraiser uh, for the Actors Fund and a place where us theater geeks and, and theater people and, and people who love theater can gather um, and find out information and to have some fun and support each other. And um, since it is also Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, uh, Seth and James thought it'd be a great way to close out the month uh, by bringing some Asian American goofballs on, uh, like myself and my friends. Uh, but first and foremost, uh, the Actors Fund. The Actors Fund is what we are here for. We are raising money for the Actors Fund. Uh, the Actors Fund is, is a nonprofit, and uh, it is not just for the actors, even though the, the name says Actors Fund. It's for everyone in the entertainment industry, everyone uh, who needs help, and especially this past year, um, it is a time where a lot of people need help. But in, for, in my entire professional career, I've known about the Actors Fund. I've heard people talk about it when people say, you know, I'm having trouble paying my rent, go to the Actors Fund. If you're having trouble paying for your medical bills, there's the Actors Fund there. So tonight we are raising money for the Actors Fund. Uh, there is a little scroll happening at the bottom of the screen um, that will always let you know what you need to do to donate. Um, you can either uh, go to, the, to starsinthehouse.com or you can text Fund 2020 to 56512. Um, and if you donate to Actors Fund, you, uh, if you get the receipt and then you email that receipt to donations at starsinthehouse.com, we may read it live on, on, on the show. So uh, that is a little bit of a, oh, I just got a number from David Katz, our awesome uh, producer here. From, from day one since the big pandemic started, Stars in the House has raised over $940,000 for the Actors Fund. Now that's pretty, pretty amazing. So um, please come in and watch us have some silly fun, me and my friends, uh, but know that we're here for as a fundraiser and if you can uh, text those donations there. So as I said, um, my name is Jose Lana and I put some posters behind me. Uh, I did a little show called Here Lies Love and um, I loved every person involved in it. And we are going to bring some people on who, who did that show with me to celebrate Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, to close it out a little bit and to share some backstage stories and to tell a little bit about what our experience was in the show. So um, if there's no further ado, any, have I missed any other uh, pre-show things to say? Um, Filipinos represent, thank you very much. Um, Let's play this video and then we're going to see some here lies loving.
Kelvin Mundo and Tanda Rickamora. Welcome, everybody. Which way? Which square am I in? I'm in? Am I in the Mike Brady Square or the Carol Brady Square? I think you're in the Mike Brady Square. <laughs> Brady I'm in Jam. I'm in the middle. <laughs> That's oh, Alice. Uh, I'm Alice. <laughs> Alice. Um, we were supposed to be joined this Joshua Dela Cruz, but he is in the middle of driving, moving to Texas right now. So we are sending him moving energy and and safety as he drives. And we can just talk about. It. I actually have a video that I was going to play. Be that, safe, that. Josh. Ooh, is Ruthie yeah. drinking too? Is that, that pink? Ram, is that pink? What is that? It's that a perfect? perfect pink glass. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Nice. So how are you guys? What are you doing? doing? I want whatever Conrad's eating. Popcorn. <laughs> butter. What kind? Butter, homemade butter, popcorn. Yum. Yum. Um, <laughs> you need butter. You churn your own butter? <laughs> <laughs> I got a goat in the back. And, yeah. Not goat. Yeah, I sent him my milk, and then he makes oh. it into butter. Oh. Okay. Wow, wow. Oh. Too far. Too you far. took a turn <laughs> fast. <laughs> <laughs> if you could use that milk and make so Renee can make the 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 monkey bread with your milk. Monkey bread. Oh, yeah. oh, uh, <laughs> who was the last person to get monkey bread? I think that I was fairly recently. I got fresh Renee's monkey I bread. I think it was you. It was just before the pandemic. Just I before the pandemic, I got it some for my birthday. I. So you all know, know that's what we're saying. Yes, I am. It's not a yeah. euphemism um, for everybody watching. It is actual monkey bread. <laughs> People don't know what monkey bread is. Made from actual monkey. <laughs> and it's delicious. <laughs> um, so I, um, first of all, I, I want to put this, <clears throat> I need to say this out loud. I'm, this is nine members of our Here Lies Love family. And I, I wish I could have had all, you know, sentient the original and then 30 of the people who came in and out of New York City. But um, yeah. I'm feeling Filipino guilt right now that I don't have everybody here, but uh, but know that these were the eight people that sent me money. So it's <laughs> all good. All the money I had left, I said. <laughs> so we're gonna get to a lot of fun videos and, and photos. So I mean, I thought I'd be more, I'd be quasi anal retentive organized and kind of start at the beginning. Um, and I don't have photos though, I think of the very beginning, which was a concept album. But I know that Melody is the only one amongst this group that had a slight touch of that near that beginning phase. Didn't you get? Didn't you sing some of the music first before any of the production happened? Yeah, when he was writing the music, um, I sang on some of the demos. He um, was planning uh, an Australian concert, uh, like a concert version uh, in Australia, and I had auditioned for it, and I got cast as Australia, and I sang. On some of the demos, this was back in 2005. Amazing. A long, it was a long time ago. And um, it was, I mean, I had no idea that this yeah. would be part of my life. So, uh, in, in such a huge way. But uh, it was really, well, really cool. Yeah. Clearly, your voice uh, left, a, left a, a mark because I, I think I told you that we were in Mass Mocha and. Um, and Alex and I were at, at one of the random bars and he was like telling me, he's like, you know, there's a girl who did some of the demos and just got the voice, man. She's got this amazing, amazing voice. And I think we're gonna have her back for Australia. She's fantastic. Oh, okay. oh, oh God. God. babies. Look at those babies. That's an iconic. Iconic picture, that for photo. sure. That was the I Tony party. Oh, that was the Tony God. party. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Little porches. Yes. Oh, oh remember when we have right. when we used to wear gloves? Remember oh, when we used to wear gloves? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, baby. Oh, wow. Oh, Look at these photos. Wow. So this is all Masmoka, yeah? 
Yeah. 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 I was not there. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that. You guys. Sweetness. So the first, um, the first time I heard about the show, uh, my show was closing. Wonderland was closing on Broadway, and I was very, very sad. And someone at the stage door was this Filipino person, and they said, "Oh, you know, they're doing a show about Imelda." You know, I'm like, I didn't know this. And he's like, "Oh yes, and that Alex Timber is doing it." You know, and I was, and I was a massive Alex Timber fan from, from you know, I, I the Peter Starcasters just happened, and so. I like looked into it. I like pursued it, and I looked it up. And my agent found out that they were, it was happening at the public. And I got an audition. And at the audition was this like very, like studious girl with her hair up and a bun and a tight bun who wasn't really talking to anybody else. She was really focused on the choreography. It was like a big dance call, and everyone was like, "Who's that girl?" I'm like, "I don't know, but she looks a lot like a Mel Marco." She looks that. like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Ruth and she and you, remember, you were like you're like that like front girl in center like I'm gonna do the choreo and I know it so let's do it let's go and it meanwhile like, meanwhile I was like an Amazon next to all the other women I was like <laughs> me learn dance <laughs> me dance pretty <laughs> These girls are like Renee's size. They're like, oh, I'm dating him too. <laughs> <laughs> so we had no idea what we were getting into. All we knew that David Byrne wrote the music and Alex Timmers was directing it, but we did this workshop at NYU and Maria Cristina was there. I think Janelle was there. Um, and um, it was the first workshop. It was just like, what, 10 days long? It was like not even two weeks. It was like two weeks yeah. long. 11 days. It was 11 days. It was? Really? We did, the, we did the presentation on the 11th day. Basement. Oh, Amazing. that is, I remember that was a thing, yep. There you go. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my goodness. George Salazar wow. was the first one. Yeah, right. There were only three guys, and we 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 learned. Wow. Um, we just learned like the first eight songs in the show, and at that point, like, uh, Melda's mother had a song. Amelda's mother, uh, which played by Maria Cristina Oliveros. Right. Uh, yep. Nobody has heard it from Remedios, but Remedios. it lingers on in the character Omnesia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so this was that. This oh picture was the God. second workshop six yeah. months later. We did a PS one twenty two. We look fit. Was, what the hell? Yes. What did Alex just make us do? Look <laughs> <laughs> I'm so not happy. So not happy. Remember that PS122? It was like crazy. Mm -hmm. And um, and I that remember was the first like flotilla that we had. Yeah. We're like, wait a minute, we have to climb it and it's going to move. Right. Did you know, we give out cupcakes yeah. and champagne there? Or was that William, or was that um, Mass Mocha? That was Mass Mocha. Was Mass, Mass Mocha, we did cupcakes and champagne <laughs> during the, um, the presidential mm -hmm. campaign. Well, like, yeah. at the time, there was a presentation. We, we all right. Alex wanted ballots. ballots yeah. Who they were going to vote for? They checked off. Yep. There was a whole rehearsal where it's like collect the ballots, collect the ballots, and it took like an hour to collect the ballots. It's like this is never going to happen in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say oh, they had rice at the wedding too? Did we have what mm -hmm. rice? There was rice, rice yeah. at the wedding. Rice. Da -da 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 rice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. We yes, yes. Maybe that's dun, 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 rice. That's right. what we were staring at and thinking about when, in that. Picture. Except everyone was sweaty, so it would just like stick to each other's faces. <laughs> <laughs> Look, like, get in our eyes. I have specific memories, Conrad, of like rice in your mouth, in your on your face, in your hair. No, oh, because I was and snacking like, on it as well. <laughs> but, yeah, because it was freeze, right? So it was, it was like, a freeze so that and Melody like could sing her song. The Melody is like ding, 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 ding. Um, I remember I went on a road trip with Ali Ewalt to see all of you in Mass Mocha. Ali did, in the comments. Oh, she, girl, Allie, do you remember when we went there? I Somebody just broke up with me and I was so depressed. And she's like, we're going to go on a road trip to see our friends and hear Lies Love. And I'm like, I, I want to see it. That'd be really fun. And I saw all of time. you perform and I was just like, this show's going to be amazing. I want to be a part of it. Yeah. Five, five auditions later. <laughs> <laughs> I knew yeah. from that picture that that was going to be cool. The one with, you know, Ruthie in the front with that dress, that was like, 
that is the photo that you saw on Facebook. And I was like, how do I get there? Like, how do I get to be a part of this party? I was never have I had more FOMO than that photo ever. That was in a, uh, we had a fire drill because we were playing oh. with the haze and uh, well, we they didn't know how to do the haze without drills. so many fire drills. Even at the public, we did, didn't we? But you know, the, uh, the DJ was not a solid part yet. Right, mm. it was, I, I, um, I vaguely remember that. Yeah, he was part it of. It was the, one of the ensemble. In that movie, he was one of the men who just popped up there once in a while and like played mm -hmm. a beat. And like he had lines and stuff. It was like it wasn't very, you know, it was Mass Mocha. It was still part of. It was the workshop technically. Mm -hmm. You know, there's mm -hmm. out. Hi, Allie. Oh my god, that's. So oh, hi, hi, Allie. Albano's here too. Hi, Aaron. Hello. But like, I gotta okay. say, like, this, okay. this show is such a testament to the workshop process. You know, we've all been a part of workshops before, and it was amazing to like be there for that first one. Where I remember Alex telling me when you know, I remember the day he was like, "So you're gonna sing your song, this perfect hand song," and you know, I had this idea. Like we had like this, um, you know, you put in, you know, you're gonna hold, you're gonna hold a camcorder, you're gonna start it, and you'll hand it off. To this NYU intern, you know, and then they're gonna film you. I'm like, sure, okay, yeah. And, then, and so like, but like it, from in that little black room, little black studio room in uh, that in that black box room, it like worked. It's like they, put, they put it on the wall and I was like, oh, this is interesting. This is really, really interesting. And then the PS122 workshop was more weird, it was very obtuse. And it was like, it was the dance in section and we were all in feathered boas and masks. Yeah. That's so when, um the um the Aquino was like Albert he was Gordon. doing all these right that's right and because yeah, he was Albert, such sorry. a phenomenal dancer i mean Aquino was doing the splits he was doing all kinds of acrobatics <laughs> yeah it was like <laughs> trying to sing trying yeah. to sing rise up it was and he did yeah. and he did and he did yeah. Yeah. What did you do, Conrad? I offered to do all of those, <laughs> those same splits, like in rehearsal. I offered to do, you know, back, standing in place back handsprings, mm -hmm. but they didn't oh, want it. Done. You, you, look, you look too good at doing it. You look it too good. Yeah. It was distracting from the stand still. They were like. They said it was distracting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to go back to Mass Mocha because Mass Mocha was a very specific experience. We. They housed us in the first one, Mass Mocha, <laughs> North Adams, which is nowhere, which is a little further away from from where w the William Sound Theater Fest was. Well, technically producing it, and look how tall those those oh, platforms are. So <laughs> They're so Terrifying. I mean, where was our union? They, <laughs> they were heavy, exactly. and they were dangerous. Yeah. They were dangerous. They, they were, were higher very, than very five feet tall. Yeah. Do you remember how oh. careful they were? Because I was pregnant. You were pregnant. You were pregnant, mm -hmm. and we, we we all knew. Or like, so every time I saw oh you go near the edge, I like pulled you in. <laughs> I remember that one preview? Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. One. There was a preview that I nearly I fell off, but somebody coming, and they didn't quite meet. And mm -hmm. you took a step, and right as you took a step and were descending, it met. And I was like, ah, oh. like I was like, I don't even remember what song it was, but it was I remember. Like, we were at least those of us who saw were just because it was so dark. We could take from Seattle. Yeah, in Seattle, JG fell off. Right. This show, yeah, the show is can be very dangerous, and you know we know yeah. that in most of the shows that we do. But yeah, the the tech process, the preview oh. process. That's why we all have to continue to stay on our game every time we are in a rehearsal process. Because yeah, that's, last Mocos, yeah. I think, when Torrens figured out the telescope thing, like the telescope mm -hmm. platform that went mm -hmm. in and out. Because back there, back in Mass Mocha, all the platforms were to be pushed out and in. That's it. Mm -hmm. That was all. There was like push. And I remember it was such a popular show that they had people, they had they added a show, added one or two shows. We were only supposed to do like four shows and they added a fifth and a sixth show or something like that. Like three shows and they added a fourth one. Mm -hmm. And they crammed people in like, a star, like sardines so much for the last show because people wanted to see it. That you couldn't move the platforms, yeah. and I think Ruthie, you, you you have a ticket from Mass Mocha. Someone wrote a note. Yeah, um, Ruthie, someone. They wrote, wrote a note on a napkin and like posted it on the door. Posted it on the door. Of the theater. Um, she sent it to me. If David can find it, it's in the Ruthie file. Ruthie, ticket. Ruthie has Mass a file. <laughs> what? You have a file. But um. <laughs> but we also uh, at Mass Mocha North Adams is um. 
how do we say this? It was, it's, it's, it's not a booming town. Um, There's a lot of meth there. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just get down to brass tacks. That, right. Someone did say it was like the meth capital of the States. I have no idea. Yeah. I thought I you, you, know, you were like the only one, you were the only one living away from us. Like you weren't in our house. How did that happen? Why were you not in our house? I, I don't know. <laughs> Who's your I, agent? I, I don't know. I think I think this I'm is new information to me. You guys all lived in one house while you guys were out of town. It was, it was four like a apartments. duplex. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like a, a, a house with like two dupl with two, four apartments in it. Uh -huh. And so what was that potluck like? It's like it was, it was it was so delicious. Potlucks. Yeah. <laughs> we had numerous potlucks, and um, if David can play the uh, the Ruthie video. Uh, we also had some lovely um, concerts on the front. <gasps> <laughs> That's a song that uh, that Justin wrote, and then Zach was like, "I have my guitar, so let's just have a little jam sesh." It was fun. Just repping your Hawaii. Hawaii. I saw my Hawaii. car that I almost that almost <laughs> killed all of us in the background. <laughs> oh, your car! <laughs> oh my god, we we drove up to that mountain, and then we drove down the mountain, and I didn't know that you're not supposed to keep pressing the brake when you're going down the mountain, and the, then the brake pads caught on fire. <gasps> with oh. nine people crammed in the car. There were nine of us in that oh, car. Oh, I heard about this. We were waiting for you at rehearsal or something. I was like, on time. I was like, where are these people? We're driving down the mountain. We're like nine Filipinos on a ho on a family holiday. We're like, packed in this car like sardines. And like, it kept breaking and it caught, and the brake pads caught on fire. We're like looking down and then smoke is coming out of the car. I'm like, what's happening? Wow. Like yeah. literally burning rubber. I was like, does anybody smell anything burning? <laughs> <laughs> Some of us went to yoga. No, I think we were waiting somewhere because I remember hearing about it. Although Ram, maybe we did go to yoga. I think we went to did. yoga. Yeah. Although I, I, I was. Uh, I want to bring up the fact that um, there were moments during rehearsal for Mass Mocha where I was so insanely jealous of Mr. Conrad Gamora because Mr. David Byrne was writing music specifically for him for the show. Uh, um, you know, like a lot of this music we were singing were, were songs for the, for the concept album, so we had heard it already, but he was like, you know, we have to write some music for, for Aquino. So, you know, and he's like giving Conrad the music during rehearsals. Here, what does this sound like in your voice? And he's like singing through and I'm, I'm in the corner, I'm like, David Byrne wrote him a song. <laughs> I was still in, I was still at the University of Tennessee my last year. And we, it was the, the weekend before I drove to New York City for our showcase. And I had already booked Here Lies Love and David sent a song. It's like an MP3. And I was at the going away party for all of the MFA graduates. And I was just like, oh my God. 
I guess got like this. He was just like, let me know if you like this. <laughs> so the first time it got on his feet was Mass Mocha. And I think we, I, I think I took a video of it while you, this was like a tech rehearsal for it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, oh, not that one. <laughs> David popping in. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's, it's the fabulous one. It's the cover. Oh. Fabulous. It's crazy to hear that back. I like I, at first I was like so self-conscious when it started playing, but then I was like, oh wait, because I remember I was watching a lot of David's old music videos, and just now watching, I was like, oh, I sound like him a little. Like I did okay, like getting into that like whole, his whole vibe. Well, um, I, I've always but, thought everyone's always thought that this is the song in the show that sounds most like David Byrne. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. You know what I mean? That's something he would put on his album. Do you know what I mean? Like it sounds like him. It sounds like him. But that whole process of finding out what to do with those moments, like, cause we were like immersive theater at that point was still pretty new. This was before, uh, you know, um, uh, Pierre, the great comet. Like, and so like, we were still figuring out how do we incorporate the audience into that? And that was before it was even like, let me hear you say, rise up, rise up, right. rise up, right. jump, jump, jump. And like that, I remember those moments of like, okay, I'm gonna introduce this concept. I don't know how it's gonna go, but like, we're just gonna be in this space together with the audience and it's not, we're, we're just going to invite them in. And, and they came with us, luckily. <laughs> I mean, I think, I, I'm, I'm going to speak for myself at Mass Mocha the, because the platforms were so tall. I it, I felt such more of a separation between when us doing the show and the audience because yeah. because they were literally the the platforms were like they were neck level so like yeah. they were performing to the top of their heads basically and yeah. so you know and so that I didn't feel like we could go we could communicate with them they weren't so you know so a part of the shows as they were when we went to the public yeah. Speaking of the public, the public theater we went to next, right? And so what, how, <laughs> now, now that now we're all part of this show, how did you get, when you, who, uh, Jay, how did you guys, how did you hear about the show? Did you hear about it from Toronto? Did you, were you already on, you were already on tour, right? You're on, I, you're on I was on tour with Lacage when, and then I finished tour and I auditioned. However, I had tried to audition for one of the earlier workshops and I just like went down because I was like, Filipino show, I'm Filipino, let's get in. And then I sang for them and they were like, who are you, where are you from? And I was like, I'm Jay, I'm from Canada. And they were like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so not for a workshop, you're not, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. they have to go through visas, all that stuff. So once we finally um, were able to do visas for the public run, um, yeah, so when my agent was like, hey, they want you to audition, I'm like, I've already been seen. They don't want me. I already know. And he's like, well, why don't you try? So I put in it, like I did a self-tape, and I sent it because I was like, I'm not going there and not being seen or, you know what I mean? So I just said, I, I did my self-tape, and they're like, they want to see you in person. So I did that, and then I got it. <laughs> Yay! 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 Yay!
need a you got it. You got it. You were so I, I, I submitted for the workshops too, and they were like, "Oh, she's not from New York." So maybe oh. next time around. Next time around. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna fly out there. I just I need to I need to fly out there because they said they wanted to see me in person. And then, and then when I got my ticket, they called my manager. They said maybe, maybe we could just see a tape. And I was like, no, it's too late. I already bought a ticket. I'm going. And just and now I'm, they're like, they like, they like got it. So. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Full circle. Wow. Look at these beauties. Ladies. Ladies. Gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Is that Jeepney or Maharlika? That's Jeepney. That's Jeepney. Jeepney. Oh, oh, is he making garlic tea? Yeah. He's making <laughs> garlic tea. Ginger. Yeah, because everyone was going down. So he he made uh he was making tea for us. Yeah. Every show we would like grind up the ginger, put the honey yeah. and the lemon like so painstakingly for like yeah. the entire cast. It was the scene. And then did apple cider vinegar. <laughs> oh cute. Oh, that basement. You know, I mean, did I? I gotta admit. I mean, I'm. I, I've been working for a long time. I. I. And even even with David Byrne, knowing he was part of the show, and that Alex Timbers was part of the show, there was at the Public Theater. I don't think I was prepared for how big the show was that summer. Like with people like clamoring to get in. Do you know what I mean? It was pretty. And I look back at it now, seven years later. I'm like. Wow, that was pretty intense, you know. And I think, I, I, I don't know, because I, I, because it was the the rehearsal process was so fun and filled with such yeah. joy, you know. And and especially also when we, were so in, we all didn't, could feel like we didn't we we didn't have to like if we missed a show it would it would close the show in a night if we missed the show. Do you know what I mean? And um, <laughs> it was so hard though. The show was so hard that it was hard to even like have time to process like any yeah. of it. It's so hot. I have to say, wow. Jay and I joined the cast pretty late, and you know that was our kind of our like fraternity thing because we joined just as part of the public, and we would have side conversations where we would say to each other, "Is this good? We don't know if it's good. Is this good? Like it, it's so weird, it's so bizarre, but like I, I'm not sure if it's good." And I think we've agreed, and a lot of us agreed to this point. It's like not until opening night. When, when they told us it was great and we, we you know, standing in the middle of the public lobby and, you know, silly us just reading the New York Times review, like out loud in front of this beautiful roast pig. They had a whole roasted pig in the middle of the public <laughs> lobby, probably the first and the last time that ever happened. Yeah. And we're all standing over like picking at the roast pig thinking like, hey, we're cool, whatever. And we're like, is this show good? Are we going to close tomorrow? And it was yeah. a huge rave. And at that point we're like, okay, this show is good to this point as i try to explain at that point i was trying to explain to people like what the show was and then after watching some of these clips at this point i'm just like ah many years later it's still very difficult to describe unless you're in the room so yeah, yeah. but we know it's good i hope it's good can i can i mention the heat again just how hot yeah. it was because you know remember we were in the Lewester hall and that that hall and that, and also too they're not used to putting like there aren't that many there aren't shows in the public during the summer usually it's like it's the summer season they go out to the Delacorte and like the, and so they put this show in the in the Wester Hall in the middle of the summer with four times if not five times more lights than they normally would put in any show because it's a disco for Christ's sake and then they put haze and then they cram people in there I remember remember they had like ice. They put <laughs> wet towels in the freezer so that we could grab one to put in the yes. back of our necks. Yeah. And they had those like warehouse fans oh, in the corner yeah. so that we could, you know, for the 20 seconds we were off stage, we could like God. cool and we off. Had, and we had like, like, the work crew and team yeah. we had to like spraying us down, wipe it. I mean, that they... I, I mean, it was a testament to oh. the show and how popular the show was and that the audience complained a little bit, but they didn't care. 
They were like, we're here. We, we got were it. giving the most we're authentic Philippines experience we possibly could. It was hot. It was hot. It was the Philippines. <laughs> you know, we trucked in a couple bottles of mosquitoes. We let those go. <laughs> you know, we, <laughs> we gave some people dysentery. It's yeah, it's good. fine. It sounded great. Those quick I mean, changes, though. I'm being reminded of those quick changes. Holy no. cow, like running during right before getting the horns off. Oh my God. Literally sprinting down the side of the public. Of the, yeah. of the I mean, the well, dancing, the, oh, the, the change into dancing. Dancing, that's what it was. This day is, the, is the hardest change I've ever done in my entire career. Like to go from like, and, and, and then you, you were basically putting on nothing. I was putting on like a little songs, but because you're running like the length of the entire theater, and then really on the side. in the dark. Yeah. It was like <laughs> the hardest working wardrobe too. Like running with Rachel just had a baby. Yes, we yeah, know. Rachel. But also, yeah, was, I, we need to give a shout out to yes, the casting is incredible. But like our public theater crew. That's what I'm the saying. Theater. Incredible. They like figured it out. Like you know what I mean. Like it was one of those things where it's like. Um, we need X and Y for this to happen. And they're like, we'll figure it out. We got pink suits, man. We got, we got pink, figure it out, figure it out. I don't know if Jan K is our Jan K, but we had a Jan K as one of our pink wranglers, our audience wranglers. <laughs> it, am I Are pointing, in the, is it this way or is it this way? At the feed. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, PMC Clancy is reminding us, um, Donation. Oh yeah. Actors, Actors Fund. Oh, Actors yes. Fund donations. Are we, do we have any texts yet? Does anyone get a text from David yet? No. But um, we are, uh, to thank you Ruthie for the reminder that this is a fundraiser for the Actors Fund and we are gabbing and chit chatting and but please remember that, that this whole evening is for the Actors Fund and look down at the feed on the bottom of the screen. I'll tell you exactly how to donate to the Actors Fund. Um, I think we have some fun videos from um, the, the public one. I think let's do, um, actually. Someone let's do wanted Scream. To scream. I think, David, oh. if you have the Scream. Can we do the Zoom, zoom dance? No. no. We can do the kitty kitty. Where's Annie B? Uh, David, do you have the Scream face? video? <laughs> That was for the beginning of Conrad's song, right? Yeah. For Charles yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised we didn't take each other down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but also <laughs> just the glimmers in between the recordings is just how giggly and laugh. I don't know. I'm surprised we accomplished anything at all in any of those rehearsals because we're all, all just laughing. Guys, 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 and trying to wrangle us. Yeah, but you know, we we've, we've all worked for a while. Like it's not it's not always that way, right? Like it's a it was a cast of family and giggles and silliness and um and I think that's also what made yes the show was incredible and it was a beautiful show and we were very proud of it. But I think I don't know. It's to me the experience was meeting all these amazing people and and being a part of it, of this family that we've all clearly enjoy each other's company and. And, it was and truly an ensemble show, and our literally our lives depended on each other to keep us like safe and going during the whole show. Like it wasn't like there wasn't a lot of alone time. I get besides Ruthie, I guess. <laughs> but, <laughs> but everyone else, like pretty much, I mean, even Ruthie, like depended on so many people, like catching her handing her off like like and then we depended on at times somebody moving a platform so that we wouldn't fall <laughs> right i mean it's truly an ensemble show like it was yeah. like we are in it together we sweat together 
and that curtain call felt like a like a company company curtain call. Do you know what I mean? It felt it felt like that. Yeah. Um, I have a I have two donations I want to read out on uh, Aaron from New York in honor of Club Millennium gave a hundred dollars. Wow. Um, Michael and Michael from Toronto. Gave Toronto. Toronto. Oh. It's Michael from Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. And my mother and stepfather gave a hundred dollars. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mama. My mom's watching. My mom's watching. Um, let's see. What do we have any more? Let's see. Um, we have a couple of other videos. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's do. It says closing party. I think we we were. It was closing of the third of the of the first summer party. I think. Yeah, I'm like which Remember which run? I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. I don't want anymore. Yes. Thing for you to sing. <laughs> Our Pablo Ario, literally in the background, being like, "Yeah, no, it's time." What it's was time that? that, that I, I think that was at Arl Stein's house. Right? Time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's my was. roommate, my roommate, Your roommie, Arl Stein. <laughs> I, <laughs> right. I, I have never they been up so little. They they let me live there out of the kindness of their heart. Oh <laughs> I've got. I have never fun. seen a show in which people gathered wow. so much post show in my entire life. Oh my god! I mean. They used First to take us out of the public. It would be like, yes. hey, I'm going to be like, I'm putting on drama. <laughs> Get people out don't here. know. People don't know that the public theater is a 24-7 building. And we took advantage of that <laughs> <laughs> nearly every night. We're like, oh, well, yeah. you kick. and we're just going to hang out. And it was, I, I attributed it to being an 85-minute show. I was like, oh, it's short. So people want to stay extra time. But, you know, you would stay maybe an extra hour. I'm telling you, people would, like, see the sunrise before they left the public. And I don't know how we got away with it. I don't know <laughs> how we get back to that time. I want to go back. I think, I mean, we were, I had never, I had never felt that cool doing a show before. Like, I think, yeah. Like, we felt right? Like, we felt like I, I totally the agree. Stars. I think doing her lies love made me feel like as a theater actor, like cool for the first yes. time. I will forever like, I will forever thank the fact that I worked with David Byrne to like think I was cool. You know what I mean? Like I, it, it's, it's, it's cause the cool is not something you associate with theater people all the time. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm doing a show off Broadway. Cool here all well. Um, well, we got kicked out. We didn't get kicked out a lot, but we, that when we moved upstairs, to the dressing rooms upstairs, we had full on parties after shows. Oh yeah. Um, sometimes they were drag parties. Um, <laughs> but this one was not, but this one, apparently everyone thought they knew the lyrics to Waterfall, uh, the rap in, in Waterfall. Nelly V. Nelly knows them. She Nelly does. does. Perfectly, but this is where everyone failed miserably <laughs> at it. Everybody! Yeah, Stick to your day, day jobs, everyone. Stick to your day jobs. <laughs> that was like the last night of the week, right? We didn't do that every night. We did that like usually on the Saturday night or the 
Sunday night, right? Saturday, because we didn't. Well, Sunday, Saturday, Saturday's night party. Mm-hmm. Saturday night parties. Um, didn't Vince Rodriguez have lights in in his yeah, room? He had a disco room. room. He had a disco room. Yeah, yeah. He had a disco room. He always he also had a cocktail of the week. Yeah. He would all make shots. Sale. Vince would make shots. Yeah, Yellow bartender. <laughs> all the things. Oh. Be some kind of fried snack. Do what and was your birthday the, um, cake, Jose? What? French fries. Do you fry. have a French fry it's birthday French cake? fries. French yeah, fries. I got it. Well, because the birthday before me was with Ruth, with Miss Ruthie Ann Miles, who knew that I that I had more of a, a salty tooth than a sweet tooth. So she went down to the library and got like four big bowls of french fries and it was the best birthday ever oh my gosh french fry <laughs> birthday cake french fry birthday cake <laughs> and i think eric's gonna try to read like, are you sure them. you want this many fries and i was like yes yeah it's for jose yeah. oh i see so you want the okay. ketchup and you want the mayonnaise and you want the <laughs> yes oh yes May um Okay, I th- I'm gonna pick a couple more videos from that rehearsal room. This one, I have no idea what it is, um, but I just oh, found it very cool. You know, it's called Wow. Um, I'm so it's a Wow video. Oh, wow. 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 What are you all watching? <laughs> Jay and I wow. were in the oh, no. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Bob's here. I'm not convinced you guys are watching anything. <laughs> I'm not convinced you guys are looking at anything at all. I was flipping through my phone looking for videos for tonight, and I got onto that one. I'm like, what? I, had, I ended up watching it like five times. Like, what is this? <laughs> There's no Where the little aliens in Toy Story. Wow. 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 I don't even know what, I was, what we were watching. You don't, don't remember what we were watching? I don't remember what we were watching. Can I read but, can I read three more donations? Yes, please. Yes. Okay, so Amy donated $25. It says for my absolute favorite show with all of my favorite people ever. Thank you for yes. this show. Let's get that petition going to see it once again. Thank you, Love Amy. Aunt says, I love HLL. $100. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. And Dave, Nomi, and our Alario, you know, Renee, who, do you know who these people are? I'll be know who these people are? <laughs> $25 from Renee's family. Thank you so much. This here yeah. Love yeah. Love. Yeah. It, would be, it would not be a Hair Lies Love Gathering if there were only one Ablario family present. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is there a of, of dad at Mass Mocha wearing the wig? <laughs> One of the one of the lady wigs. I don't you know Renee, if you've seen you this. I don't think I downloaded it, but you sent it. Okay, that. it's fine. I have a picture of your dad wearing your wig. Which was like disco ball necklaces that you guys gave us for opening. Uh, <laughs> so funny. Yeah, I was yeah. like I was like, you're in the girls' locker room. <laughs> like, Typical what are you doing? <laughs> You know, I think at Mass Milka, my dad literally, he wore a barong, which is a Filipino, like a fort, like it's very hot in the Philippines, so you don't wear a suit or a tux, you wear a barong. It's like a fancy, beautiful, embroidered, button-down shirt. I know. He took it yeah. off of his body and put it on David Burns, and David Burns, like, <laughs> held on to it and wore it for, like, all the opening after that one. So I did those that. Yeah. Remember, like, we all were dad. All the men coordinated barongs for the opening. Remember that? Barongs. We had barongs for the opening. <laughs> including Jay Mad just studded his. I mean, if I had. He broke out the bedazzled gun. Bedazzled it. Do it right. But also, 
David Byrne and Art Albulario have the same size barong. Like, I don't really... <laughs> 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 It's like putting a doll shirt on a man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, man. <laughs> the difference in height is like a 5'2 Filipino man, and David is like a six foot Caucasian <laughs> man. <laughs> it worked out, obviously. It worked Barong, out. one size fits all. No, one size well, fits all. We had uh, a very specific thing happen to our company. We had just disbanded the first time and then uh, in 2013, and then a horrible hurricane hit the Philippines, yeah. right? And uh, hit Tacloban, which is where our sh part of our show is set. And so uh, our lovely, our amazing leading lady, Ruthie Ann Miles, uh, reached out to David Byrne and we all gathered um, at Terminal 5 and you remember how it was crazy? Like we had like an afternoon to put it together. It was something crazy. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? With costumes and like, mm -hmm. it, it was absolutely crazy. The Terminal I, 5 donated everything. Yeah. They wow. donated I think, everything. I, I, and I, they, it was like, I was so excited to see everyone. I think that overshadowed how nervous and how crazy I was like, are we doing this? Like, are we putting on the show that we haven't done in six in five months? You know, it's like, um, I had this crazy yeah. beard too, like these mullet beards too. And so- I'm like, you were doing all of her, right? Yeah, I was doing all- You were playing Fagin. Fagin. Bill Sykes, Bill Sykes. And then I flew the red eye, landed in New York, and then went to tech. Like, that was- We, like, we put it together one afternoon, didn't we? It was one afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then like, we did the show that night. And do you remember Annie B was like, oh, don't you remember the choreography? <laughs> and we were like, I don't remember anything. No. <laughs> but that crowd, the second, yeah. that crowd, I think, if, you, if we felt like semi-rock stars uh, at the public, like to go into Terminal 5 <laughs> to end the show with David Byrne. With, with a, like 3,000 people? Mm -hmm. was crazy. Wow. So we have we have video. We have two videos. One's the opening, and and then the other is the finale. We'll do the opening. Wow. Um, for Terminal Five, dude. I don't think I've ever. Crazy. I that haven't thought about Yay. some of this stuff in so long. Sometimes I have like stress nightmares where I'm like, child of the Philippines. <laughs> 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 um, and I think we have the closing, the finale, uh, the finale, David.
Wow. Wow. That was so sad. I look back at one of the that, that the the curtain speeches, and uh, I think we raised. Was it over a hundred thousand dollars that night? It was a hundred thousand oh, dollars for, yeah. uh, for Doctors Without Borders and, and yeah. Red Cross. Um, but yeah, yeah. it was. I think it's just such a testament to the people on stage and off stage and involved in that show that everyone was like, "Yes, of course we're going to get together, and of course we can put it yeah. up in a day." Like the craziness of that day is just staggering to me, and just the joy. Just I was just. And and I missed and I'm I protect that T-shirt that we all wore the the South the T-shirt because I don't want to wear it too much but I don't want it to fade anymore than it's already faded so it's like literally in like a plastic bag in my closet <laughs> so that I didn't fade. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I don't wear it willy nilly now I don't because I don't want it to like wear and tear more than it needs to like my my here lies love sound black t-shirt is one of my prized possessions so the one of Amelda hanging from the chandelier or no the first one, the one Amelda the first face, one the Amelda face the Amelda face that was supposed to be just as, oh here they are They're the great photos from that night wow oh my god do you remember the shoes nice oh you that dress was from strawberry or something <laughs> yeah, that's, a great, yeah. that's a great photo, Conrad. That's a great photo. Oh, Melody, that's a great yeah. shot. Yeah. We got to do this show again before I can't bend my back like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Natalie, break my heart. Dress. Dress. Face. You were yeah. so yeah. awesome yeah. that night. I remember you were so like just present and in control and wrapping everyone together. Was, Do you remember, Jose, it was because it had been five months or whatever since we had done it, it was just before seven years. Conrad, you yes. were on stage. Are you going to tell, tell me? Yeah. And it was for seven years we've been here. Blah, 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 blah. The second verse, no matter what. I mean, I was about to pee my like urine down my leg. I was about to pee myself because I could not remember the words. Remember the word. And, and I was like, Jose, 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 what are the words? What are the words? He's like, it'll yeah, come. I was like, like, no, actually, I don't have the words. I saw death in your eyes. I was like, it was okay. death. It's okay. It's okay. I had death feeling. So, I, yeah, you want it so badly. It's like, it make it perfect that night. And we've been, we literally hadn't done the show in four months. It's like, I know. It's like every actor's nightmare to be thrown on to, to a show that you did months ago or years ago. And then go, yeah. I got this. And you're on stage like... I was like, give me the script. Where is the script? <laughs> there was no script. Um, and sure enough, open the mouth and it came out. Oh my God. So open your mouth, man. Open your mouth. Open like, your mouth. Like, like that. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> like open that. your mouth. That's like that. Yeah. Oh, we no, played a no, flash that was there, but uh, there was a, the, we didn't stay there, but most of the creatives stayed there in Mass Mocha at this place called Porches. Um, and it lovingly referred to as Ghetto Porches. Um, who has the full story of Ghetto Porches? Why was it called Ghetto Porches? Was it because it was ghetto? I don't remember. All I know is that we always called it Ghetto Porches. It was ghetto Ruthie's porches. laughing, so maybe she knows. <laughs> She's laughing on mute. She's not saying anything. <laughs> She's like, I'm not, I'm not, the story is. But no. when we closed at the public for the second summer, for the second time, um, David surprised everyone by performing a song that he wrote for everyone called Ghetto Porches. And it was one of those moments where I was like, David Byrne, with, I mean, it was with such humor, knowing that we were just looking back to like one of the, the journeys of the show. Um, but, you know, Melody, you caught it on, on, on tape. This is, this is the video you sent me, so a little bit. So this <laughs> I, remember, I remember standing standing in that party because it was the closing party, the second closing party. Um, I was already very sad, you know, very, very sad that we were all going to say goodbye. Um, and then David comes up there and does something so kind of personal and so 
like he he created this song as an ode to our company and and to the crew and the cast and and I just remember being overwhelmed by it, oh completely overwhelmed by it. Um, it's just getting to hang out with music legend David Byrne all the time as if he's just one of us, which is a testament to him because he never tried to hold himself, he never did hold no. himself above any of us. But you know, I, I'll be the first to admit that prior to Here Lies Love, my David Byrne knowledge could have been fuller, let's just say. And this the idea of like being able to be in a room with him. I remember somebody snapped a picture of, I didn't send it because I'm a bad Asian student today. I'm sorry, Kuya, Jose, I didn't send the picture of this, but there's a picture of uh, David, because I didn't really play the guitar before the show. So he kind of gave me, not only taught me the song, but gave me guitar <laughs> lessons during the rehearsal process. And somebody's like, this is insane. David Byrne is giving you guitar lessons. Th this is a very rare thing and it's, what a cool I have, experience. I have, a, I have a, a stack of, because um, I think my iPhone was just new at that point. I, I, I have a stack of rehearsal videos from a lot of the, from especially Mass Mocha and from our, our, our run at the public, that first rehearsal. And uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to play them here because I, I think rehearsal videos are kind of, you know, we don't sound our best. I didn't want, I didn't want to put that out there, but like, I'll email them to you guys, the ones that I have. Like, like wow, us, Jose. Like us hearing. Out blast. Girl, you already put me on blast. You, I was gonna <laughs> say, you play it with the <laughs> <laughs> Sound the greatest. <laughs> oh, 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 we're gonna be guest hosting then. I'm gonna, bring other, I'm gonna bring the other, the other 10 cast members that aren't here now. I'm gonna play all your videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man, on Front Street, there it is. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I have some fun videos to play that I think will will take us out. Um, they, we we uh, we we are all very lucky that we were part of this show, but there are other people who auditioned for this show who didn't who didn't make it in, and uh, some of them sent videos in. So the first one, this woman, she sang seven years, and she was extraordinary. I just wanted to give her some air <laughs> um, seven years. So seven years. Mabu hi. Good day, Governor. Hello. It's me, Lorna. So last time I did a video and you didn't call me. So I'm sending you another video because if at first you don't succeed, do it till they call you. <laughs> Here is my new video. Um, it's for the London production or any other future production that you might have of Here Lies Love. I know the title now. I just want to say that I really, 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 really want to be in the show. So if you would please call me, I would appreciate it. Okay? Also, if you don't, my Tita Melody will be calling you. So I had a listen to the cast recording and I would love to say that Ruthie and Miles sounds divine. I listened to it and I decided to sing Seven Years. I think it just has a wonderful arc to the song and it sounds really good in my voice and it shows my versatility. So, presenting Seven Years. For seven years you've been Seven years down in the hole They said Your watch, your glasses And your wedding ring You won't need them anymore What brings you here? Amongst us criminals. <laughs> Listen, the internet is forever. I sent Jordan and Alex, like, and then I, I looked up and I thought, oh my God, because I sent it as a serious thing. And then I thought, oh my God, they're going to hate me. Remember this day? I was like, you know, 
I facilitate. I was like, oh, there's this great performer who would totally fit into the show, Alex Jordan Taylor, the, you know, pop. And then I was like, oh my god, they're gonna think that I like making fun of, of their is it, like what? oh my god but i could not but jay can i say like you could play the part <laughs> you legit could play the part i love the side eye that. like you yeah, seven years been in here <laughs> just the all running the commentary on the face the yeah running commentary oh, I'm a clown. But like, I just wanted to have fun and it just, yeah. But oh my gosh, that is a plus. My, Mary Christina, when we did that, it was supposed to be live, but they were doing the auditions. Right. This is for the second. There's like, it's a trilogy. That's what it was, yeah. Videos. That um, Lord. But the first one, um, it, they were supposed to do, I was supposed to go in live, but they were like, the auditions are at nine. And I was like, I'm not waking up at 7 a.m. Just <laughs> gag. So I did a video instead, but it was just like, I mean, it worked out in the end. Cause who am I playing? Larry you know what it reminded me of? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you clarify something for me? That was an actual audition? No, that was, <laughs> no, the first video, they- yeah, It's a gag, video, right? It was a gag, but Maria Christina okay. sent it to Alex and Alex thought it was an actual referral. So they sent it to everybody in the public. Without side. watching it, yeah. Without watching it. So that I didn't know either. That's so hysterical. That it was a real that's how, and that's how you booked Moulin Rouge. That's how you booked that's Moulin, Rouge. Moulin Rouge. That's how you booked Moulin Rouge. The best part though is Natalie welcome, watching the video and me watching Natalie watch and being like, ah, oh, ah, oh, she's awful. She's awful. <laughs> 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 oh, that's <laughs> right. She's like, yeah. And, and Natalie's like, but the voice, the voice, she's got a voice. <laughs> like she was like, so serious. And I was like, Natalie, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, have, I have one shout out, special shout out. Such a joy to see this AAPI cast. Special shout out to Ruthie and Miles. You were such an inspiration and do Hawaii proud. Len yeah. Fakuda from Georgia, $25. Thank um, you. We Thank have you. one more. We, we, and, and I'm sorry, but Lorna's not done. Lorna, Lorna is back with a special guest, and oh, no. uh, I think uh, we all need to see the special guest. Why do you say those things? You know they are not true. It's so hurtful to me. And I thought we were friends. Friends always. I want you to have this as a token of our friendship. And please, no more telling stories. What did I do to make you mad? I swear I only told the truth. And none of this could hurt you now And it's no insult to be poor And that is how you don't book Moulin Rouge. <laughs> Beetlejuice, bitch. That's how you book Beetlejuice. Okay? Unbelievable, y'all. Wow. By the way, oh, we're all going to be this company to do other Alex Kimber shows after He Lies Love. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> 
you know, I, that was filmed I'm at five, five six in the morning. This. I'm every day just... <laughs> Yeah. But it was really shot from like 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Well, we had another roommate like, at the time, so we did it in silence. Yes. By the way. We pre recorded during the day, and it's us at four going like. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. So funny. Um, do we know if, if do we know if Enrico is watching? Because I was going to I, I thought about it for a second, putting the video of him coming home as, as when he was your roommate, Calvin, and I he's a respected uh, dance dance studio owner now. Um yeah, but yeah, yeah, leave it. Left, right? <laughs> That video, kick, 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 will live in infamy. Clack, um, clack, 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 clack. clack. Jane I'm Fonda's out. Workout. Jane Fonda's workout. <laughs> Secret I videos. Iconic. For anyone watching, you're going to have to just scour the internet for all full versions of all these videos. They're there. Yeah. They're there. <laughs> Forever. Yeah. YouTube wants it now. So. Oh. Um, you guys, I think we're, 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 we're going to wrap this up because it's, you know, it's been past an hour now and, uh, um, can we go back? Much. Can we go back? Let's go Please. back. Please. <laughs> Please. Jose, you can make anything happen. You oh, can. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, Trebor, Trebor. Booyah. I mean, it's like, oh, it man. feels like oh, yesterday it feels like a million years ago. Yeah. So many years. Yeah, everybody looks exactly the same, young and youthful and gorgini. Just don't ask me to jump in the, up and down on a platform right now, because I might break <laughs> it. So. I mean, my knees could not handle it. <laughs> um, but thank you, thank you, Jose, for gathering us all together. Well, that just means we're gonna have to do a bigger Zoom call with everybody. Um, that's not gonna be in the house, yeah. Now. But, um, who's bringing the lech on? Who's bringing I want to say, on? I want to say just one thing because it's AAPI month. It was like this was my first, I didn't, I didn't have a previous experience working with an Asian cast <laughs> before this, like, and I feel like that's sacrilegious or something as, as an Asian person in this business. But I, you know, I, I was in like, you know, ensemble number four kind of, kind of things and like in very colorful other casts, but I had never been a part of an Asian cast before. And it was just, it was so hard to be on JG. I taught you this leading lady detention. <laughs> it was hard to be on leading lady detention, like silent all the time and no, I got to go home and I had the newborn at home and stuff just because I wanted to play with these people so much. And I've never been in like a group that was so inviting and, and like, you know, holding each other up the way that we did. And I know that it was special to our group, but there's also something about when minorities get together and it's just, it's so special and like warm and fun and we feel seen and we felt like rock stars, which then elevated us also as, as, as Asian people. Um, yeah, and so I remember, you know, feeling like a crazy minority when we were in Mass Mocha and people, we would come out of the stage door and people would, Maria Christina, didn't you say that you were signing autographs for me? Because it was just at some point. You know what, I gotta go. Yeah, at some point they were just like, and she's like, sure. Yeah. Just, you know, that and so, I mean, no, no. that's, you know, that's at first how it kind of felt, you know, being like, like, yeah unknown and and right. you know this entity that was just doing this odd show and then we got to the public and then people treating us differently and you know the the notoriety that came with that and and feeling accepted in this business and even though we were off broadway it felt like we were something else you know it felt like we were bigger than 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 that title could be and you know and I, it was just it was such a privilege it was such an honor to be an honorary filipino with you guys and Amen. You know, my Filipino word of the day, Melody would give me, and I don't remember any of it, Melody. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, but I think, I think all... that's, sorry, no, no, just that this is AAPI month. It just reminded me that, you know, we're stronger together and, 
you know, and there's something really special about us. It's a different, it's a different play when you have all of us together versus like tokens, you know, yeah. token yeah. Asian or like, you know, mixed, all mixed up like. The show wasn't about our Asianness either. It, it was wasn't. about us being badasses. Yeah. Yeah. I remember and starting the party we throw. And not, and, and they're not even being Filipino roles. Like people not knowing what Filipinos were and the only roles were Chinese, Japanese. And so to yeah. be able to play Filipino, to, come, to be around all these Filipinos felt like coming home. I had agents mm. telling me that I should learn Spanish because I didn't look Asian enough and you know, I should, I should go for Latino roles. And you know, now I'm, I'm actually uh, shooting a movie right now with a big Filipino family. Joe Coy, Joe Coy, Joe Coy, Joe Coy, my love. I mean, and you know. he is he is telling the story of a Filipino family, and it's not making fun, and it's not sending mm -hmm. up. It's just telling like real stories and feeling like this is the first time it's that an Amblin is producing it, that this a mainstream movie is wow. featuring a full Filipino family and we get to speak in Taglish and have all of our little quirks and have a Santa Nina, like all these like little references to our lives and our culture and, and how special that is. And it feels like Here Lies Loved It with me, you know, like, Seven years later, we still have a text chain going. We're still, you know, <laughs> messaging each other and checking in with each other. And it's so, so special that, I mean, just this experience has been that foundation for me, bringing that, bringing that family to, to, uh, to people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the, that's what's, what's amazing about this past year in the pandemic, you know, I think with, uh, with We See You What, and, and I think, when, 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 when actors of color, when Asian American actors are finally writing their stories and finally directing mm -hmm. their stories and, and, and playing their stories, uh, it, it changes the whole scheme. And, and Hair Love is very much part of the fact that people can come to the show and go, oh, I didn't know anything about Filipinos except for the shoes, you know, and yeah. we can, and it's, and of course also these past four years, it's so relevant when you're talking about someone who questions who, who makes people question journalism journalists and 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 you know take over governments you know it's 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 a relevant story and i think um i was just so proud to be a part of a filipino american story with a really kind and fun loving cast you know and i think like ruthie said i mean it's it, it's nice that other people that people are talking about a show that's not miss saigon or king and i do you know what i mean like as much as those shows were wonderful it's nice that there's a contemporary answer to that. So, um. and there was an audience. Who was, oh, sorry. Wait, oh no, I was just gonna say I'm looking at some of the comments people are saying, and um, we've had so many people that have come to see the show, but the Filipinos and the Asian Americans that came to see the show that weren't in the cast they were like company members and they had the pride. They took it upon themselves to be like, we, this is our show too. And I love that. About they were having show. conversations with their parents. They were asking them, you know, because a lot of Filipino parents, they don't talk about that time or they, yeah. you know, they just keep it really close to the chest. So th this show opened up those conversations, even with people in the cast, they were like, I, I was able to talk to my parents about, about the Marcos regime for the first time. And, and I mean, it's so, it was so even weird. uncomfortable conversations. Like they're, yeah. you know, it's, I mean, I, I use it, I use today as a, as like with Trump supporters and, and just, there are Marco supporters who, whose families have been Marco supporters generation after generation. And it's just been ingrained in them that it's part of what was life was in the sixties and seventies. And so I think a lot of people have stopped talking about it and that's, what's dangerous. We need to talk about it. We need to, if, 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 if the Philippines, if, if governments, if other people are not going to learn from the mistakes made by some government 40 years ago, 50 years ago, then then what, what's the point of over, of overthrowing them? Like, you might as well just let them stay in power. So um, I think it's a very relevant story. And But I want to go back to the fact that it was the kindest and funniest and funnest cast. And I, I love that, like, uh, even with our honorary Filipinos, within three minutes, not even, like, 30 seconds of hanging out, we all had, like, Filipino accents like our parents talking to each other, like, oh, no, 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 no. 
Um, Cause that's what happens when you're with a bunch of your family, you just start talking like each other. So it's like coming home. Mm -mm. Exactly. This so, is like a good old family goodbye too. Nobody right? wants, goodbye, uh, let's stay, let's stay. Let's stay. Let's stay. Nobody <laughs> wants to leave. Just a couple more minutes, bye bye, bye. Three hours later. <laughs> um, but this is my promise to you guys, my family, my hair loves love family, that we will, we'll, let's coordinate another Zoom. Um, I mean, everyone's getting vaccinated. Maybe we can have one. Unfortunately, Ruthie's show was canceled. She will be coming, joining us back in New York. We welcome you back with open arms. Oh, I'm ready for you. I will um, need to come you. home, quite literally. We'll bring you back at some point too. Yes, we can hug Hope, and we'll and we'll, we'll give a give a proper aunties and uncles welcome to to Miss Hope. So um, we will all gather and um, I will volunteer a place to go if we can all make it out here. So we'll, we'll just do that. We'll have a good, a good gathering. Pool party. Pool party. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys. So thank you, Stars in the House. Thank you, Actors Fund. Uh, thank you for everyone who tuned in and donated. Yes. Um, and because we're off the air after this, um, don't, Think you can't keep donating to the actors fund they're always there um and stars in the house the website's always clear and you can always go on there and donate um the pandemic is slowly getting you know hopefully we're seeing the end of it but there are a lot of people in our industry who are needing help um we haven't had paychecks and income in the past year and a half and a lot of people just are really hurting uh not just the actors but the ushers and and the wardrobe and and the hair and, um and the crew and um, any any bit helps the Actors Fund, and it goes to people's medical bills, it goes to people's rents, it, it just helps a lot. So uh, thank you, Here Lies Love. Thank you, Public Theater. Thanks to my family, Here Lies Love. And uh, say goodbye. I want to say, we're like, it's like something like $940,000. We don't have yeah. quite the million dollar mark, but the, I think, yeah, what is the, what is the, what is the, when is it, yes. what's the, um, June 30th? Right now, what's the, to, uh, what, for this, for this, for this, just for this hour? No. No, 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 right no, no. Now, the million, the goal, the million dollar goal is what, June 30? Yeah, June 30, they're hoping for a million. And we're already at 900, we're over 940 now, so. Yeah. Awesome. Do it. Awesome, so Let's keep get, tuning in, stars in the house. Yes. Let's do this. I miss you guys, I love you guys. Love, love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you. Bye.